everybody, and welcome to A Catholic and Two Protestants Go to the Movies. I am Jacob from the Good Day for a Movie podcast, joined alongside me, Dr. Earl from the Deuce Cast and the Deuce Cast Extra. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, may thy knife chip and shatter. <laughs> or something, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> joined by Matt Mink as well from Yay! the soundtrack of Life, and Michael Nip is exactly right in the chat it's chosen time, baby, and we are <laughs> here recorded live on YouTube, ready to have some fun tonight. Yeah. Okay. What is up, Synthesis. Roth and Earl? Isn't that how I'm supposed to do that? Yes, Michael. that is. Yes, do it like Michael. Is this oh, what we're yeah. talking about? <laughs> no, no, no. Nice and shatter? no, no, wrong book. Well, that's that's uh, yeah, that's the wrong. This is the this, this is, the is book. wrong. This holy is closer. Book. All right. Hey, you know what this is called in Dune though? It's called the Orange Catholic Bible. Ah, that's right. Yeah, so if you, it's been a while if you've read it, but uh, yeah, the Benny Jesserit have used it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, yeah. I've never never seen any of the Dune, the original or oh, wow. part one no. or no, none of them. No it's need weird. to see the Lynch one. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you said no need to see it? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, okay. That's that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would see the new ones first and then yeah. go back and, yeah. and see how he interpreted it. And, uh, but anyway, I'm not, listen, don't get me off on Dune. We, we're here right. to talk about real stories, the true right. myth. Yes. Of the gospel. Amen. Yes. That is exactly right. Well, the chosen season four, episode seven and eight, um, has been in the theaters for a couple weeks now. I think it may still be on a little bit of a run here. Um, since these are the last two episodes of the season. I don't know if you guys saw Dallas Jenkins, the creator of the show, um, had a little video drop on YouTube. Sounds like it's they're in delayed. a little bit illegal. Yeah. Delayed for streaming. Um, sounds like we may be getting another th run of theatrical releases for all eight episodes. For Easter time, right? I th something like that. Yeah. Or, well, so I don't, I don't know if that's true. If for some reason you're watching now and you haven't seen any of it, now's your chance. Turn Sound this good. off and go. No, yeah, <laughs> I hadn't heard any of that. So yeah, there uh, sounds like some, some some sort of legal battle with a distributor or something, um, oh. and it is delaying their release on the chosen app. But eventually, it will happen. Um, it sounds like they're going to release two at a time per week um, when it eventually comes out and in the theater or on the app? no on the app so I, i'm oh, sorry okay. so they'll sorry. do like a sunday I, I don't know they didn't say the exact days but like a sunday release and like a thursday release so they'll get the episode out in four weeks in total or the season out. oh i see weeks. i see um yeah so that's a little is bit it, of is it is it something like with the 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 company that released it to the theater said wait a minute we we've we've got more time that this is supposed to be in the theater is that is that kind of what i'm hearing it's Maybe. possible something like that. It's either that or um, I know that they're not necessarily with Angel Studios anymore as hand in hand as they used to be. Um, bummer. We're going to we're going to miss our uh, comments from Rhett. He's at a concert this week, but we will have a good show. Hopefully. Thank you, Rhett, for chiming in anyways. Have a good concert. Um, yeah. So I, I, I don't know if it's with the distributor for streaming or if it's with the theater distributor or what it may be. Um, but it sounds like there will be a little bit of a delay in the streaming release. So, hmm. but that's all right. We we've, we've seen it in the theaters. They're coming back to the theaters at some point, going to do a similar thing to what they just did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> some guy named Earl said, sorry, you would rather listen to rock and roll music than talk about Jesus. I know some people's priorities. Sorry, Rat. I'm just <laughs> Well, should we get into this thing? We ready? We have any? Any? You guys want to cover anything before we hop in? Uh, uh, nah, full spoilers I'm, ahead. Full oh spoilers yes. Ahead. We are spoiling cover, everything. Cover before we jump in, you said. Yeah. If there's anything non-chosen related or chosen adjacent. Well, you know, uh, the setting is ten thousand years in the future. So when you look at Dune, you have. <laughs> Oh, wait, sorry. Which one are we talking about? I'm confused. Is this where the sandworms come in? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's episode nine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's season five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. Um, 
Yeah, full spoilers are ahead. Um, I saw yeah. this two Saturdays ago. I think so me, a little, me too. Me too. Not super fresh. Matt, you saw it this past Saturday, so a little more fresh mm. for you. Yeah. Um, I'm glad at least one of us have seen it semi recently. I was going to say, don't lean on me much, though. <laughs> We're leaning on you, Matt. We're leaning on you. I got you. my notes. I got my notes. Maybe. Um, well, it is seven. still pretty fresh in my mind, okay. and we were we were just talking about it at church before I left tonight. So Good. that was getting a few things kicked mm-hmm. back around. Mm-hmm. Good deal. Episode seven kicks off um, with a flash forward. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. Um, interesting stuff here. This is where the yeah, Catholic brain in me is like. We have stories for all this. I wonder <laughs> where they're going to take it. Mm. Um, oh, y'all have y'all have stories about the, how this all happened, or yes. Yeah, so, like, now none of them. I, I, it's I don't think any of them necessarily are dogmatic, um, except for some of the deaths that are more historically known, like Peter and Paul. Um, but the rest of them are bit of a mystery um but things to believe that everybody was martyred except for john is kind of the yeah that's the Catholic church and i think historically accurate as well except for can, you you broke up a little bit on my end except for oh who? i'm sorry except for uh john, john. okay the, right, yeah. yep, the i could have assumed a, but i just want yeah, to make sure child to the island of Patrick. well and uh and and most of and I don't know if it comes from Catholic things or not. I, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think most of that, um, the martyrs are documented historically, like Josephus yeah. or, or the Jewish historians yeah. and all that. I think that's all uh, as to exactly how Yeah, uh, I think it kind of varies. But uh, I know for sure James is the first. Yeah, and it James. is recorded in Acts. Uh-huh. He is the first but i i I, uh, I didn't really right. i was kind of confused about the opening the deal i, I didn't but i ended up yeah. having to go out i had to go i had bought tickets for everybody and then a couple guys were running late so i had to go out oh, and meet them out front with their tickets so they could come in and i missed a little bit of the. the you're like first. why does matthew have a big beard what what's going <laughs> on here i dig it <laughs> hey so according to according to google ancient sources report that matthew died by the sword in ethiopia yeah. While celebrating mass. Yep. Uh, um, and then little James is believed to, um, which he, which we kind of talk about here. That's kind of the other news that Matthew had for Mary Magdalene is that he was stoned by a crowd and received a death broke blow from a club is what most sources kind of okay, point so to. I missed, I missed all that then. Okay. Um, yeah. And then in tradition, Mary Magdalene, bit of a mystery as well. Some sources say um, helped to start the church in France and died of old age up there, um, kind of in the hill country of France. Um, And there's a possibility that she did that, but she also um, could have also died and been with John um, on the island, whatever island you just said, Dr. Earl. Patmos. Yes. Yep. Um, So, yeah, interesting stuff. I'm not really sure who the gal with Mary Magdalene is, but... um, well, then that might make sense to see Matthew with Mary Magdalene sort of in their age, yeah, age, ages state, maybe to deliver the book or as we, as we, yeah, as we assume it is the manuscript. Of, yeah. Um, and of course, as we remember, she was a good reader, right? Or she was learning. She was she's learning. been learning to read. Oh, she was taught no. to read. She Rayma. was taught. To, yeah, she was teaching Rama. She, she was teaching her, her father okay. had taught her to read. That's oh, right. That's, that's right. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. She uh, was teaching right. Ray- okay, I knew it was one or the yeah. other, but yeah, she taught Rama how to read. That's right. Okay. And then there was some of it she had trouble with, so Matthew would help her. Mm-hmm. And Matthew what- kind of helped in Matthew and like Simon Z and some of the other apostles were kind of helping with um, Philip. Yeah, with what verses to and passages mm-hmm. to like kind of uh, remember and whatnot, memorize. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know if anybody has anything else I, for that intro. I, I don't. I, I'm up. I'm very vaguely remembering it. I just remember him him at the door with a book. Was, and, so who was the redheaded Robin Hood lady, <laughs> the one with the bow and arrow? Like, what's the gal's name in Brave? Merida. 
<laughs> was it Merida? <laughs> oh, that's right. She had a she had a uh, like a younger woman with her, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did she had a bow was, and arrow. I, I thought mm -hmm. so. Oh, I thought well, she had a bow so, uh, a bow on her back. I think so too. So there was a season where Christians had to live in caves, right? The Essenes, and they had to flee. Is that right? Uh, maybe in hiding. The Essenes, weren't they? The um, I mean, the, they wouldn't have been Essenes. They were the de though. yeah, the des that was the desert. The folks that went out in the desert, desert, desert they thought right. John the Baptist might have been an Essene or whatever, or was wow. it might have been affiliated with it because he lived like they did or whatever. But I, I that's in the, it's the diaspora, yeah, uh, the dispersion or whatever, where they yeah, uh, right. after AD seventy when uh, Rome came in and uh, right they. But even before then, I think they kind of, because I think. Right. When Rome of, burned Jerusalem, right? Mm, they had that was scatter. 70. So maybe they, they were. They scattered. Because that's all of that's prophesied in like, uh, I mean, all through it. Daniel, even mm -hmm. Jesus is talking about that in the Gospels. Yeah. 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 A lot of people think it's end time stuff, but it's a lot of it. I, I, I tend to believe that it's what it was talking about AD 70 and the the scattering out of the people and they'll be going to the four winds essentially right and that's, the end times. Mm -hmm. that's always the debate right is this talking right. about what's going to happen immediately to jerusalem or is it talking about the future Later. coming with mm -hmm. christ but anyway jacob we're way off the trail here. no you're good this is this is all good um yeah, but uh but that, that goes along with you talking about yeah. them hiding in caves they're probably yeah. hiding out and yeah yeah I'll, and i think I uh i mean it makes sense too because like the roman military and roman leaders were not fond of the jews at that point obviously but they were also not very fond of christians as we know mm -hmm. peter's uh right. crucifixion crucifixion upside down and paul was um Thank you, Michael. Michael says Roth is looking very friar like tonight. Um, is it is it the receding hairline that makes you say that? <laughs> but um, I believe Paul was it's a nice um, sweater and the yeah, it's just yeah. all Paul was beheaded. Yeah, about and I think he was kind of beheaded just about at the exact same time as Peter. Not maybe not exactly. Yeah, I, I think that I think they were both um, sounds close. Yeah. I think they were both, both pre AD pre AD seventy in the like in the sixties. Um, I think by Nero, yeah, by Nero. I think they were both so you by can Nero. you can yeah Nero 64. Paul for sure, and I think Peter was yeah that because Mark is the oldest gospel written, right, they think, right, and right. so they think that's kind of him dictating a lot of Peter's stories, and so that would have been. They say maybe 55 to 60. And then so, Matthew's after that, I think, like six, yeah. early 60s. John was the latest. It was like 80, 90. 90 something, yeah. Mm -hmm. 80, 90. The uh, quick Google search shows that um, both Paul and Peter were killed in Rome by Nero in the year 64. Um, oh, wow. AD. Okay. Interesting. So, yeah. Um, kind of believe that they. We're kind of teamed up more for the lack of a better uh, turn of phrase, mm -hmm. um, kind of in Rome. Um, so teamed up for martyrdom. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And kind of preaching together and whatnot, kind of like they're doing in Acts. Um, yeah. But yeah, so the, the main thing that's happening in episode seven is obviously all about Lazarus and all about the return of Lazarus. Um, There's a right. Man. <laughs> I honestly right. assumed that this would be the finale. Mm -hmm. That's what I, I was thinking. Too. I, I, I really thought that this would be yeah. the finale. So it's in the surprising. trailer, I saw they showed that people were throwing palms, mm. and yeah. saw the bolt. So I was like, I don't. I'm like, that's crazy that we're getting this this early. I'm I'm still a little confused I, on the timeline. Well, uh, yeah, and. Sometimes they're, you know, sometimes they'll do like sort of a projection ahead yep. of what's to come. So I just assume maybe they were, you know, I really was like Matt thinking, okay, the big finale for the whole season, is the raising of Lazarus, but, mm -hmm. but no episode seven. And um, the, the first thing I think we get to is that, that walk to Bethany 
and there's some conversations that are happening. Um, a really interesting one with little James and Mary Magdalene. Mm -hmm. um, um, and just mainly talking about the healing that happens, I think. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, it's that. And I think it's pretty not clear understanding that little James and Mary Magdalene are the two that are listening the best and are getting it the mm -hmm. most. They've been there the longest, right? Uh, yeah, I was thinking that me and me and my wife were talking about that. And I, I said, out of all of them, it seems to me that little James and Thaddeus yes. and Mary are the ones that are really like honed in. Like they understand yeah. at least a little bit more than what the other ones are. Like they they know that something's bad is, is coming. The other ones still seem pretty clueless, which I mean, that's what scripture says. They were clearly right. so clearly it happened, basically. And it, it, it makes sense. I think they've done a very good job of like characterizing those three specifically because I think they seem the most humble. Um yes. they have the most humility. And I for think sure. that um obviously is something that Jesus calls for a lot. And that type yeah. of um humility and humbleness can kind of open your eyes and you can see a little bit clearer. If you're not um, acting like a Peter or a Nathaniel or a James and John, although sometimes they're pretty humble, sometimes they're definitely not. Um, but <laughs> Those, little James yeah. and Thaddeus and Mary Magdalene. Um, little James and Thaddeus are those ride or die friends that are kind of quiet. They, they're they yeah. always hanging in the background. They're not going to be the ones that are the life of the party, but yeah. they'll afterwards they'll be the one you go to to like, okay, what was that? It started yeah. out with Z making the, the walking sticks, wasn't that? Oh, yes. Yeah, he, yeah. he was making the walking sticks for James. Oh. He told him, he's like, you, you fall easily back there, you know, when yeah. all of that went down. That was cool. Yeah, I like yeah. that Z was like sort of encouraging him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and really, James is in a lot of pain, right? Little James. Yeah. We get to that one scene. Was that was that this episode? Yeah. Yeah. Where his back was, and probably his back was spasming. You know, when you yeah. think about it, we've got so many medicines now. Uh, but, but just the way he's his gait is, he probably get that man some Toradol. Get him some Toradol, a little Baclofen, we'll, we'll, a little or a little Flexoril. We'll fix him up. That's an ESV, Brian. I'm not logged Carl, into my, ESV I'm not there as into my well. YouTube. I can't comment. Um, yes, mine is the uh, the Book of Mormon. <laughs> oh wait, no. <laughs> oh sorry. No ESV, ESV. <laughs> That's where, that, our, that's where all that that's where all that sandworm no stuff came in. To our LDS. <laughs> that's right. I got that sand in my Bible from being out west. <laughs> I've got the revised standard version, second Catholic edition here from mm. Ascension Press. Very nice. Very nice. Great adventure Bible is what they call it. Um Agreed. yeah, the, the those conversations between um little James and Mary Magdalene were very good and I mean not to jump ahead too far, but obviously after Lazarus has risen um, from the dead, we get a kind of longing shot of her staring at the tomb, kind of her being like maybe sensing something's coming or something, but just alluding to oh, the fact right. that she's yeah. going to be the one to tell all the apostles of the I'm, risen Christ. Yeah. I, do y'all remember that conversation very well? What was there? I'm trying. So, so far back, I, I was like really moved by it, but I can't remember which, which one details. you talking between. Well, I'm still on that little James Mary. Okay. Concept. So they were talking about how sleep means really, different. We, we you really you understand know? all of this. That's we're kind going of the conversation. To wake them up. What does he mean yeah. by wake them up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause yeah. then they talk, they even took it back to uh, when they first met for the Shabbat dinner at Mary's house. They were talking and, about that. I do. Yeah, remember they that. talked about that. And wasn't James also talking a little bit about the fact that you know I've accepted the fact that he's not going to heal me probably, but yeah, he told her she asked um, about the healing. And he's like, I'm still saying you know that I've healed people, you know, through him even with my condition. And she said, have you asked him about healing you? And he's like, yeah, I talked to him about it. And she said, what do you say? He said, I don't remember all of it, but it was beautiful. You know, 
<laughs> That's right. And it was, I, I, I remember that, but it was, they, that, that scene, it kind of, I guess it's a nice uh, juxtaposition with the last Shiva with Rama. Right. Because they were walking two by two side by side, you know, mm-hmm. it'd be Thomas mm-hmm. and John, and then it would be, you know, the others mm-hmm. and they would be mm-hmm. conversating, which it didn't, uh, the rest of them didn't talk as much as this. I think it was just them two for the most part. It, unless- it was a long, it was a long scene. I, yeah. uh, I, I, one thing I would say sometimes with this, okay, I'm going to say my critique about the chosen just briefly, because when you're trying to get to, uh, when you're trying to get somewhere, we know where the Bible story's going, but maybe you're saying, well, okay, we don't want to like push too quickly to it. Mm-hmm. You can have, you have these longer scenes and some, and I, I did think like probably this could have been edited a little bit, you know, because <laughs> um, it, right. it seemed to go a little long. And I think with a, you know, like a Hollywood economy mindset of that, no, we got to move this forward. Um, they might've clipped it a little bit, but, but then also in my brain, I said, wait a minute, this is a TV show too. This is not really a movie movie. This is us episodes mm-hmm. of a TV show. So I think, I think I had to sort of recalibrate on that, but I, I did. After, I think I saw this movie the day after seeing Dune and I was like, you know, Dune is such an economy of like maybe, maybe a few phrases here. He's really the master of like getting a scene down to the essence and just a few words, which, which I was really impressed with. But I said, and so this was very, you know, a lot of words, a lot of words, you know, so it's just a different, different style, but it is. I, TV think, shows Brian's, are different. I think Brian's comment, you put that up there. I think that's pretty great as far yeah, as that's like a good what point. you're talking that's about. A great point. Because he it's, said uh, it's going to be difficult. It's got to be difficult to write and direct something that your watchers know so well. That's very true. That's very and true. it's because I mean, like what you're talking about, Earl. I feel like thank you, Brian. Um, you want to do the story, and I was reading something about this earlier, a little article about it, because I was reading on why it led me to this. Why the the guy that played Philip left the show. I was just looking into that. Mm. And, um, but it, they, it, it was kind of talking about how, if you pretty much just put what was in scripture, like just, He's, he, he disappears, right? <laughs> well, uh, well, it's, and, and you'd have like a 15 minute, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, <laughs> uh, show. And it's because we know, I mean, what we have here is obviously what, what God wanted us to have. I firmly believe that, but you don't know the downtime stuff. You don't know what they were doing on the in-betweens or whatever. So that's where the the, long walks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you, the creative license, you know, comes into that. And I, and I, cause I agree with what you were saying. Like sometimes I feel like, well, okay, maybe we can wrap this up a little bit tighter (laughs) or maybe it could go a little further here, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. So it's kind of a, uh, yeah, but again, a TV show difference to right. compared to because TV shows are a little more talky in general, probably than than movies trying to move it through quicker. Anyway, back to the back to the story, guys. I'm sorry. No, you're good. I think that's that's all part of it too. Um, so we're walking to Bethany. Yes. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> I think just the last touch on Mary and little John, little James. Um, they also talked about Mary talked about how her being in such a low place. Um, has helped her to appreciate not being there so much more. Um, mm, I think yeah. that was very good. Um, that was, that was good. Yeah. I yeah like it. Just, and little James was like, well, I'm not there yet. But like, and I think Mary's response was, I can see like you're, you're progressing to that point too. Um, yeah. I really like the way they've characterized Mary Magdalene to sort of make her be sort of a, uh, a very thoughtful sounding board and, and really in a way she kind of gets because she's come from so far, you know, what is it? Mm-hmm. Seven demons or whatever. And just to have her sort of be this, um, and she struggled. I know she had a little relapse episode mm-hmm. and, and I think she kind of mentioned that a little bit too, didn't she? Yeah. In this talk, mm-hmm. this walk. Um, but again, extra biblical stuff, but pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, uh, and like logically that makes sense too, that she would seemingly mm-hmm. be the most far along because <laughs> she was the most empty of a slate of all of them where yeah. everybody else was so, I think bogged down is the right way to say it by this Jewish follow the law and yeah. 
yeah. don't care about anything else. And Mary was obviously not at that place. So right, right, yeah, that's a good. Point. Um, Brian, the only reason I get this reference is because I was at a non-Catholic <laughs> church one time. My, uh, I should say, non-Catholic or Anglican or Episcopalian um, in high school. That's the only time I've been there, and I was so thrown off. They passed around a tray <laughs> what is of this? apple juice and like saltine crackers. I'm like, uh, grape juice, sir. Grape juice. What did I say? <laughs> apple, apple juice. juice. Oh, uh, yep. I'm sorry. Grape juice. You have to have the right color. It has to yes, look like yep, wine. It's grape juice and like crackers. And I'm like, this is communion. <laughs> <laughs> I was very confused. <laughs> but, um, uh, you got the you got the kitty version, so uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had, so the other conversation we have on that walk, I was kind of reading here. Um, John and Thomas are talking, and Thomas is um, oh, I we forgot kind of delve that. more into the whole "let us go with him to die as well" or what, whatever, however he says it. Mm-hmm. Um, and Thomas admits that part of him hopes that they will go and die, and he won't have to feel anything anymore. Um, And John warns him against wishing for death, noting how Deuteronomy ends with a decision between life and death, blessing and curse, and urges the Israelites to choose life. Um, That was cool. Yeah. Okay. This comes back to me now. That was a. And that may not be an intention. It may not be an intentional at all. But I mean, I thought about Judas there. Hmm. You know, because that's because basically he's talking about oh, you shouldn't wish for death, and that goes into the suicide kind of thing. You know, the Jews Mm -hmm. believed. because that's kind of what John's getting into right there when he's talking about Deuteronomy. He's like, you shouldn't mm-hmm. wish for your own death. You shouldn't, you know, choose to take your own life, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So it's, I guess, maybe unintentionally. Maybe my mind was just thinking yeah. that way. Yeah. No, for sure. And it's also, um, I think we can even take that kind of to today, too, of like, sometimes you don't want to get too, like, I don't know how to say this, but sometimes people are looking too forward, like too excited to pass so they can like go to heaven. And sometimes maybe they've missed the point that like down here matters as well. John um, Cash has a song right. about that. You're so <laughs> heavenly minded that you're no earthly good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've never heard that one. I'm going to Johnny, Johnny Cash up. has a song called wow. that. I'm, I'm pretty sure there is a song. I mean, so I've heard that statement. Yeah. You're so heavenly minded that you're no earthly good. I think he has yeah. a song. I'll look that up. Okay. So nice. Remember, we might have our ending music for the podcast version of this now. <laughs> Let us also go that we may die with him. That's yes. A reminder of what Thomas said. And yeah. And I love, I, even, even when I realized the journey they were going to take Thomas, I thought, okay, that makes sense that he's going to be the guy that's so despondent that like, he's like just going with Jesus and dying as you know, at the hands of the Romans or the temple guards or whatever would be better than, as you mentioned, dealing with the pain of losing my betrothed. Yeah. Johnny cash. No earthly good is the name of the song. There we go. There we go. Just wait till the end of the podcast. I've never heard that one. That's so interesting. You think I would have heard that? Wow, that's yeah, great. I like it. All right, I'm, um, I'll have to listen to this podcast to, to hear the uh, <laughs> the last song. Peter has some interesting moments in this episode as well. Before they leave, and the um, Simon Z makes the uh, the walking sticks for the for Big yeah. James and uh, Little James, I guess. Um, yeah. He's like, what? I don't get a walking stick. And he's kind of making light. And everybody's like, whoa, man, like, come on. And I, I will say I fully identify with Peter there. Cause like a lot of the times I use humor to diffuse, um, mm-hmm. somber situations. And sometimes it's probably not called for. Um, but, um, so I, I definitely identify with him there a little bit, but then, um, Peter and James are also talking about, um, what is happening and they bring it back to Jairus's daughter and um oh that's right that's right because they they've been keeping that secret they did not Mm -hmm. tell i always forget that point that none of the other not to tell yeah okay don't tell since you brought that up there's another time there may be more than this but the other time that jesus tells those three not to tell is um, transfiguration transfiguration so maybe the reason we haven't seen that yet is because we're gonna still get it but it's gonna be a flashback a situ- yeah, it's going to be a flashback. Yeah, that's my oh, guess. Interesting. Um, I, for, I, for, I forgot about that. That we had because I was trying to think yep. of all the things. Because I mean, spoiler alert: the where this ends, you got a week. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's a week. To, yeah. Well, till till you know, yeah. till the crucifixion. I feel like they're going to go on the forty days after, probably the uh, day of Pentecost. I, I I feel like we're going to get that probably, or we'll get a chosen because it was got uh, season seven seasons is what Dallas has said. I think. Yeah, I, I think, think so. Move, yeah. I think you could even do a sequel to the chosen that's just about Acts, life of the apostles. Mm, yeah, something. Yeah. Uh, um, I I also find it interesting. It's it's a good kind of exercise for me to um, reassess the timeline that I think things have played out. I always kind of thought that Jesus spent forty days in the desert right before Holy Week, and like he kind of came back oh. and went into Holy Week. Oh um, man! Because that's kind of like the whole idea behind Lent, right? Is mm-hmm. Jesus forty days in the desert and then we get into Holy Week? Um, oh man! So no. that's that's not how they're playing it out here. <laughs> And no, the, no, di- no, dude, no. I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> but we'll see, and that's the thing. I, mean, I can talk- see how you would think that, but we've uh, talked about it on on the previous episodes, yeah. maybe the, the first one for sure. How the 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 Jewish mind, especially these guys that wrote it, were Jews. You know, Matthew, Mark, uh, John, Luke. I guess Luke was a Jew. I think so. Okay, yeah, but he um they they didn't care necessarily about the timeline mm-hmm. of how the order of things happens as long as the facts are correct and they're there and so that's true who's to say that it didn't happen yeah well there? and who's to say he didn't go off and do another retreat too i mean we we just have one recorded well i yeah so like we also haven't seen like the temptation of jesus either right right yeah, I, I, my own specific suspicion is that they started at a different point in the story, because well, okay, so my my theory is that the name of the show is the Chosen. Um, I, I, but that doesn't mean we couldn't have a flashback to it mm-hmm. because we, right. we love to do that. So, um, my personal feeling about all that is that he went right after his baptism, according to Matthew. He had his temptation and then he started his ministry and then okay. of course he was ministering for three years. And then eventually we get to the, uh, so uh, somebody named Kara Roth, no relation said the chosen says Jesus <laughs> crucifixion is, is season six and the resurrection is season seven. Um, well, there's geez. a lot of things in no this relation last, in this last week. There's a lot of things that, because, I mean, he's going to go in. Obviously, the first episode yeah. of next season will be him actually going into the city. Yeah, um, the big one. And then the triumphal. Got, yeah, then you've got the, <laughs> he's got to flip the tables at some point. And, he, you know, he's got to go into the temple, yep. flip the tables. I thought that was about to happen this season at one point. But um, I think they're going to squeeze the transfiguration in there. And then, and and I think they could go back to the temptation. I don't think it's like I said. I, it would be neat to have them start one of the mm-hmm. episodes with that. I um, think maybe okay. So right, you got, you got five, two more seasons. Season five is Holy <laughs> Week, so we get the flipping of the tables uh-huh. and everything, uh, uh-huh. the Last Supper and everything like that, and some other yeah. stuff as well. Yeah. And yeah. I think season. So I think the uh, temptation may come during the crucifixion season. Yeah, I, I, that would be fair. I, that's would say a, that's, I think that's a pretty make I, that yeah. ju- juxtaposition makes sense. And I mean, because um, because I mean, that's what he does. He takes it to the very top of the temple, right? Yeah, and shows him all the you know. So all I mean, that's if you're in within Jerusalem. But there's yeah, you got the Last Supper. I feel like, and we can kind of go and talk about it now. I think it might have been in. Uh, it's probably more this. It's more the second episode of th- this one. The uh, you're going to get more of the Pharisees, and you're going to get more of the Sanhedrin. I feel like more of Herod, Pilate, in these next coming seasons for sure. So that'll take yeah. some. Yeah, we're um, really just being introduced to Pilate in some way. For I sure, like we have we've moved on from like the Gaius and the um, Quintus Quintus of it all. Um, I think they're probably pretty much done. Maybe a yeah. little bit somewhere at the end, they bring them back for something. Yeah. You yeah, know, Gaius, um, 
Well, so I have a theory. Again, this is jumping way ahead and, and probably we don't really need to get into it. I have a theory that do y'all think Atticus will be the one at the cross? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, says, I do. surely yeah. this was the son of the God. Son of, or, yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. I, All right. I, wholeheartedly. I feel like. Yeah. Because he's kind I of watching. It be, I thought it was going to be him or Gaius. Right. And then as it moved along and Gaius became the, the centurion. obviously the yeah. centurions who serve it would be healed. Yeah. I was like, yeah. he's the one. Especially yeah. this. These, right. these you last heard it here, folks. Episodes. We're calling it right now, folks. Calling my shot. I like Boom. it. I'm I'm all in on it. I I will say the only so I fully agree with it. I was trying to think of other possible characters that it could be. And my only other thought, because I think we talked about this after Maybe episode Quintus. three, is is Quintus that they go on an arc of him. Um, like a redemption arc. Maybe he's maybe he's at a lesser position, and he's you know had been humbled, and uh, yeah, that's a possibility. I've got I've got the scoop ticker as well, Michael. Look at that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we, we can scoop things. We can do it. <laughs> um, um. So they so get the other to part, uh, in episode seven is um Mary, Mary, and Martha mourning. Um, and then Jesus arriving. Um, so, if so this is probably one of my favorite scenes in the Bible. Uh, I, I just love how you have Mary. I mean, sorry, Martha comes to him first, right? Um, and she kind of is a little more. I mean, she's grieving, but she's also a little more scoldy, which is what you'd expect from mm-hmm. Martha, right? <laughs> And so I thought, uh, you know, she's just like, if you had been here, Lord, you know, you wouldn't have died, you know. And, oh, that uh, was that, that. I'm looking at that right now. That's that's John chapter 11. They yeah. went almost word for word. This, this was a lot of heavy scripture mm-hmm. as is. The, the, uh, the part that was not was a part that was heavy is when she said, I believe e- even the things that I don't understand. Mm-hmm. You know, and I was like, mm-hmm. "That's heavy." Okay, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that hit me too. Like, even as like, especially as a Catholic, there's some things where I'm like, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't know if I agree with it, but I gotta believe it because that's just kind of comes with the Catholic faith. And so, mm-hmm. yeah, I definitely that was one. Yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, I believe that just yes. it, just in Scripture and about yeah. Christ Himself. If we could fully understand mm-hmm. it. And understand him and everything. What kind of a God is he? Right. You know. I mean, our, his ways are higher than our ways. I mean, there he 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 sheds a little light mm-hmm. through things Revelation, for us to yeah. For, yeah. yeah for us to grasp enough. You know. Yeah. And, uh, it, a, big, a big one here. I'm the resurrection. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and she says, you know, uh, it's in the scripture too, but you know, yeah, of course he'll rise again in the last day. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thanks Jesus. Mm-hmm. We, we know that, you know, <laughs> thanks for reminding me of that. I've got to wait for that. It yeah. doesn't help me right now. <laughs> she's, like, and she's like, no, 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 no. I've got a, I've got a teaching point here. He's like, I am the resurrection of the life. Mm-hmm. Um, the, uh, kind of what you were talking there about, like not understanding and the mystery of it all, right. The Trinity sure. is a mystery. And I, I'm listening to Father Mike's catechism in a year, and he talked. About, he was just the last couple of days have been has been talking about the mystery of Jesus and how all yeah. of that works. And yeah. I like the way he put it. He said that a mystery in the church and for faith is not like a Scooby Doo mystery. That's like <laughs> you're gonna uncover, unmask somebody and have the solution right there one of these days. It's something that we're never gonna fully. It's something to wrestle with. It's good to wrestle with God. Jacob did it. Mm-hmm. but it's not something that's like that you shouldn't be expecting to ever fully understand it here. Yeah. Mm. No, that's, that's, a, that's fair. Uh, well, I think as you go along the process of sanctification mm-hmm. over time, and well, there's the old song, we'll understand it all by and by, you know, the mm-hmm. old gospel song, like the, yeah. the, the further you go in that walk, the more sanct- the more you're sanctified over time, the more you understand it. And it's, it, it, cause I mean, it can be kind of yeah. heavy, especially, you know, like some fully, of these guys. Yeah. 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 And you know, it's, I mean, I mean yeah. you see the frustration on, on Jesus or Jonathan Rumi is playing Jesus face in these episodes. Like, like they I, don't get it. They do not get it. I'm like, could <laughs> I not make mom. it any plainer? 
<laughs> then she's there. Everybody's like, well, they're only human. He's like, I'm only human. I am human. <laughs> I'm human too. Also, or yeah. Not only human, yeah. I'm also human. Yeah. Yeah. Human yeah, too. yeah. 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 The, uh, uh, I don't know what I was about to say. And that's the he has that conversation can... with last. Well, I think so. Then we're walking forward and we come to. So there's like, there's like sort of the intellectual grief of like Jesus, if you'd been here and we, we all have the if onlys, right. With mm. grief there's, and, and, you know, that is one of the stages of grief. It's like the bargaining stage. Bargaining, if I'd yeah. done this, maybe so-and-so, if I'd only like, you know, gotten them to the hospital in time, then this would have, and then, but then Mary is just fall on your face weeping right it just says yeah well they do that too because he sends for us and she martha goes back and says hey he's here and he wants to see you yes and that's yeah. when um they bring in yusuf's dad he's in there because he was a friend of lazarus is he and that other guy that it never says his name that i remember but oh, I forgot. what's going on that's yeah, yeah that's, that was a good and pick they up. go high tailing it out and everybody follows her because they think she's got what they says it in here. They were supposing that she was going to the tomb to weep there. Mm -hmm. Right. And they're she hired goes, mourners probably. Uh -huh. some, she some goes model. straight to Jesus. And that's when she says she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. She said the same thing that Martha said, but in like just the, I mean, way more, a, a not that Martha of, wasn't emotional, but just like, just a oh, mess. Yeah. Oh Yeah. And then we get that Scorsese directed clip, like Rhett was mentioning um, last week. <laughs> Jesus wept. We get that here too, which was very this emotional. A, this is like an ugly cry, weeping. Yeah. Where he breaks. Well, down. and then his and then his mom. Holds yes, him. having Mary there because I you just don't necessarily always picture that, right? That like this she's, like she's true like motherly her. like mm -hmm. compassion that she had to have. Like it's easy to forget that and to see well, it's it. easy to forget that he was human and that would yeah. have needed that or yeah. wanted that you know like because that when it hit there I, I mean i automatically thought about like my mom you know my mm -hmm. mom would want to be yeah. there for me in a time like that you know and it's just that was you know that that was great i mm -hmm. mean because that's that's not it that's an extra biblical thing but to me that that's something that you can just easily assume yes if his mother had been there yes she would have held him while he cried you know mm -hmm. yeah i like that his mother is not like you know you don't always see her presence in the mm -hmm. scriptural story but um i mean there are times she's there in the scripture mm -hmm. but i mean i mm -hmm. like that she's kind of like like a mother would be right kind of a, around a little bit you know for the different because this would have been somebody right lazarus was from his hometown is what um uh, right they were childhood friends, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I think, mm -hmm. or at least that one episode. I forget that was a couple seasons ago where they were. Yeah, they, it was the, the throwing the ball of, back and forth. Yeah. yeah, the feast of booths or whatever that yeah. was. And and then he, uh, yeah, and that's when he got in the synagogue and they were mm -hmm. about to throw him off. The, yeah, that's I when he the, said the very controversial line. Speaking of the Book yes. of Mormon, I am the law of Moses. I am the law. Yeah, of yeah, Moses. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get the book of Mormon. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's yeah, it's there. But to me, I was just like, he is. Like, yes. Yeah. Well, know, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey uh, that was just the big conspiracy theory that right. they're like, oh, the Mormons have infiltrated. They're filming this in Utah. They're using the Mormon company for sets. I'm like, people, calm down. It's okay. It's going to be fine. Down. We promise you, Dallas Jenkins is not going to like totally throw it to the. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, if they start talking about having your own planet, then we might. Yeah, then we're in real big trouble. Hey, hey, thanks, LDS friends, for joining us today. Yep. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks. Stay away from Dallas. Stay away from John. <laughs> Stay away from Matt and myself. <laughs> sorry. sorry, not sorry. Bring it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> So, oh, so, and Matt, I want to ask you this. Have you ever heard any pastors say, so there, there's, and, and Jacob, you, this, you may think this is really weird. There's a group of pastors that don't like this idea that Jesus would just cry over some human grief because I was like, well, you know, he's going to heal or it's, he's really more crying because the people around he's crying for their unbelief. And I was like, no, dude, read, no, come on. Don't, don't try to like over. Have you ever heard that where they say, oh, they're troubled in the spirit? 
Yes. Um, Jesus would not be weeping over this because he's about to heal Lazarus. He's weeping because of their unbelief and he's actually angry. It's not, a, you know, and I'm like, yeah, uh, I, I'm not, I don't know if I've ever heard it to, so far to the anger, but I have heard a lot of people talk about how it's like, yeah, he's not I, weeping because Lazarus has died. He's not weeping the same uh, way that they're yeah, weeping. He's weeping because he's, uh, yeah, but it says know. here. When Jesus saw her weeping, and this is verse 33 of chapter 10 yes. of John, when Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come with her saw also her weeping, weeping, then he was, he was deeply moved. That's, I know. And in I think his they're, spirit and greatly yeah. troubled. Now, that's it, the, my thing is, is it can be the humanity. both. Yeah, it could be it both. It can be both. For sure. I mean, but, but, it, but in I'll the moment, it. he chose to be, I mean, Brilliant. he's human. That's right. He's, he's he, human this, in this, the this moment. Humanity. So he, I, I always thought that was a bit of a, I don't know. It, well, you're getting a little bit too heavenly minded for your that's, earthly good. That's <laughs> right. And Johnny Cash says, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Matt says, don't do that either. <laughs> let I mean, your, let, and yes, yeah, so you're supposed to weep with those who weep and laugh with those who laugh. It's, it's, uh, I forget where it says that somewhere. As as my pastor said, it, it used to be in here. Uh, I re, it used to be in here. You know. <laughs> All right. Can, you can you can help me find. That's what he says. You can sorry, help me sorry, find Jacob. it. it used to be I just, in here. I just want to tell you that there are some some folks that uh, I got really, I got, a, I got a little preachy there. There there's some there's some pastors that are. Jesus was a man's man. Now he's mm, he's not going to be just yes, crying man. over some womanly cry woman. He's going to. It's only because he's, you know, and, and sorry, Matt, I never asked to enjoy that. <laughs> sorry. Look, I, I'm man church. Somebody who has admitted <laughs> on YouTube multiple times now, it's okay. It's manly to cry at the chosen as well. That's right. That's right. If well, Jesus is yeah. weeping during it, you're, you're no less than a man. No less Look, than I'm, a man. I'm sorry. If you believe the words in this book and the sacrifice that was made because of your sins and you don't have some sort of a feeling about that. You need to check yourself. Mm -hmm. How can you not? I'm, yeah, I mean, for sure. for sure. You know, I, I I'll leave it there because <laughs> that, that's a <laughs> save your sermon preacher. It ain't Sunday, you know, <laughs> save your sermon. <laughs> that's Robin Hood. Uh, by the way, sermon, <laughs> Jacob sermon is like a homily. We just want to no, make yeah. this. Thank we you. want to translate to your. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Or is it like a homily? Is that what y'all consider a sermon? Is like the the teaching? Is it yeah. called a homily? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it, it comes at the end of the liturgy of the word, right before the liturgy of the yeah, Eucharist. That's what, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, yeah. I don't know. Yes. Yep. Yeah. You yeah, got. You it. You're you're I pretty fluent in Catholicism. I understood a couple of words in there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I could be speaking Latin to you. I like oh. some hom homily and grits, right? With I, I, I know a little. The, what I, how I know the majority of, a, of about Catholicism. My wife's aunt and uncle are Catholic, and they actually, where we live, they drive to Coleman, Alabama. Earl, they oh. were driving from so like two and a half. That's wow. Uh, maybe three hours. They were driving over there because they actually did a full Latin service yep. there. Oh yeah, that's the uh, Mother Teresa. Uh, not Mother Teresa. What's her name? Mother Angelica. In the oh, EW, EWTN. Is, that, is that where EWTN's at? EWTN's just outside of Birmingham. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's supposed uh, to be our, our north, north, northeast ish. Yeah, the uh, closest. Auburn, yeah, the closest uh, Tridentine rite or traditional Latin mass is about an hour. It's in Fort Collins, so forty-five minutes an hour okay. away. I've been to one. Very cool. Don't know if I'd love it every single time, um, <laughs> but it's it's Fair. very cool. And it's it's truthfully amazing. When I go to church here, most of the time, I'm among the youngest people that aren't like a child of somebody bringing their uh -huh. kid to church that's like still under high school age. Uh -huh. Down there, everybody was about my age-ish. Really? And they all had like 10 for, kids. For, for the Latin mass? Yes. They all had like 10 kids. I'm not kidding. You. There were probably like wow. five or six families with 10 kids and they couldn't have been older than 35. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Bless and the Lord. It was a, it was a full church. It was very cool to see. Vinny, Vinny, Vici uh, or something. I don't know. That's all the Latin I know, but <laughs> I know more than that, actually. 
Mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. <laughs> et, tu, et tu brute? <laughs> Are you not entertained? Yes. <laughs> you're my fault. You're my fault. You're my most grievous fault. Um, part of the mass. But uh, so yeah, end of the episode here, obviously, we get Lazarus coming out of the tomb. They pulled, they did such a good job of this because I, again, never really like tried to like picture exactly what it would have looked like, how it would have happened. I like how they all doubled over from the smell. Yeah, I'd have been yeah. very freaked out. Oh yeah, I'd yeah, have been. They, very and I like, I loved how they did. Like, oh, yeah. you know, like you had multiple different reactions of of freaking. Yeah, people screaming. Even the rolling it. of the rock was incredible. Oh, and it's so heavy. That was yes. great to show the the weight that it took all of those guys mm-hmm. to move it. And again, uh, it just makes you think to the yeah. resurrection. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. There was a lot of and like why the rock being moved would be such a big deal. Yeah. And no, how I the women, how good. the women couldn't have moved it. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Because it took what four, four, five, men? six. Like there were a lot of them. Yeah. And I liked how they talked about ghosts because ghosts would have been a thing for their mm-hmm. culture too. Mm-hmm. It's a ghost, you know, and. um mm. They said the same thing when he's walking on the water. They called it a yeah. ghost. It's a spirit. And he was like, y'all go and wrap him. Don't. <laughs> Don't do get that something. off his face. Yeah, that, uh, that, 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 that whole deal with the thing on the face, that was, that was creepy to me. Like, I mean, yeah. not that I was just creeped yeah. out, but I mean, you know, it's just weird. Yeah. Yeah, but, but they, I, would, I, they would have done that. They would have put the spices. Yeah. In the, I almost thought, I, I literally said out loud when, you know, when he... He raises the hand, Lazarus, come out. And he stood there. Nothing happened for a few seconds. I was like, oh, please don't say it again. Please don't say it again. I literally thought that they may have had him say it again. Oh. And I'm like, ah, because to me, that would have diminished it. Like, right. You know, like, you know, he, yeah. Like he had to do it twice, you know, right. Because I was thinking, and he didn't. And you see him stumble out. And I was like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Hey, you I know, it's been dead. A it took, it yeah. took a minute to get that blood yeah. pumping, <laughs> move that body again. You know, <laughs> it took him a while to get up. He was so tightly yeah, wrapped. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that's true. I'm like, uh, I can't get off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're dead. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Sorry, a little Monty Python. <laughs> this, <laughs> I feel happy. I feel right. happy. <laughs> Would you please come and wrap me? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, their makeup work is actually pretty good too, because he mm-hmm. looked pale, like a, like a oh, corpse. Right. Yeah, his his hair looked wild, like he's got mm-hmm. some crazy yeah, hair. Well, that dude's mm-hmm. got some big bushy hair, doesn't he? Yeah, they also it's do big. such a good job of like cutting the emotional scenes with a bit of comedy at the right times too. Mm-hmm. They'll let you ball in the theater. But then they'll be like, all right, here's a joke. Like, come out of it a little bit so you can pay attention. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I, uh, I like the like, conversation. I'm sure he's hungry. Start. Yeah. I like the conversation afterwards. So he's like, so I was like dead. Like, he, you know, like you, he, he didn't know. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. he was just yeah. like, um, and he was the like, longest like, nap I've ever taken. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> He's like, so what? I like how he kind of like was still trying to figure out like what, wh- wh- what happened? I just remembered eating and, you know, or whatever, having some pain. I didn't even talk about that. And of course, you know, and, and John, it does say that then there was a plot to kill him. Mm-hmm. I didn't, mm-hmm. did they talk about that some? No, um, well, kind of. Maybe that's going to come later. They I, talked uh, about it. The Romans <laughs> talked about it. Um, um, it was King Herod. Uh, and about Caiaphas? yeah, um, Claudia, yeah, Pilate's wife. She said that she said, So, why don't you just kill Lazarus or something like that? Yeah, or no, oh, no, that's, no, uh, no, Pilate says that. I'm sorry, Pilate says yeah. that because then Claudia says, Well, if he raised him before, why wouldn't he just raise him again? And then everybody <laughs> has a big laugh, they, they, they make a big, yeah, yeah. I, th- yeah, I, so I, I like of alluding to we're gonna get that next season too, of maybe a little wrap up of that. That um, I like how they're foreshadowing with her. You know, she they talked about this is going into the episode eight, but um, said that they weren't sleeping in the same bed because she said that Pontius has been saying that she thrashes. 
well, she's having dreams. She's having it the dreams. That in there. She tells him, you know, that's the whole thing. They're they're yeah, foreshadowing that. that. Yeah. <laughs> I caught that. I was like, hey. I nudged my wife. I was like, hey, hey, hey. It's that. She's like, I'm having a dream. Don't kill this man. And he's yeah. like, or or don't be involved or whatever. I forget mm-hmm. the exact. Yeah, you you don't need your blood the blood his blood on your hands, something to that nature. But so that's, that's why that's episode uh that's season, be season six, six according to probably. Roth's mom. Season six. Yeah. She's got it. She's got it. <laughs> I trust her. Um so, I mean, so there's do- a little bit other stuff of like Mary and Martha figuring out how to repay Jesus. Obviously, there's no way they truly can. And maybe that's the point. That was some good oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. As well. I like that little sitting at the table. Mm-hmm. They were just talking. What can we do? Um, and and I don't remember which episode this was, but when she went to the perfume seller, I think that's the think next that's one. that's next up. Yeah. Okay. I'll hold up. Um, and then, but I think we did go back to Caiaphas in the Sanhedrin, right? And did they, did they start? Dude, that dude is creepy. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that that is creepy. We oh, can just move in. Or Let's was that the next? Day. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe so, I'm getting my... Episode eight starts with a... A really interesting cold open. David. Um, um, but you don't know entering. it's him at first, right? You think yep. it's... Selecting the land for Passover and entering mm-hmm. into Jerusalem with the palms being thrown down. So they would run, yeah. Hosanna to the king. Yep. So that that gate, and I forget if it's the eastern gate or the, I always forget which one it is, but that's where they would bring the Passover lambs through. So Mm -hmm. they would actually, and you guys know this, but they would put the palm branches down so the the lambs would not get any bruise or blemish in theory. I mean, it's probably Mm -hmm. more, probably more symbolic, honestly, but. They would so they would have like an easier stepping uh, across and and so I always thought that was cool that Jesus came through that gate mm-hmm. as the Lamb of God right and mm-hmm. uh, <clears throat> but anyway I may be jumping ahead but we see David have his triumphal entry right yeah um which it took me a minute to go okay wait a minute which Old Testament story is this and then I was like okay that's the David guy. Mm. Mm-hmm. Although David was ready in complexion, Roth, I think he looked more like us with some one of those redheaded, <laughs> redheaded ginger Jews. Look, all right, <laughs> I am not a redhead. Look at this hair. That the, the top of my head is not red. Are you not going to claim any? Brown. No, I'm not. I'm not. Just just my beard is red. My beard is what? the only part that's red. Are you going to leave me out? To just I'm leaving you out to dry. <sighs> You're the only redhead on this podcast. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take your soul now. I'm a red face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a red face, or you're only getting half a soul. Okay, all right. Well, that's fine. I'm trying to find that um, what gate he came through, Earl. I've heard that before. It's either east or south because they say it in this episode too. Yeah, I think it's the eastern gate. Yeah, there's eastern something gate. that the Messiah. There's there's a prophecy actually that the Messiah will come through. A That's certain. the Zechariah. He would come through the gate of the city, and he'd be on the uh, the foal of a donkey. The foal of a donkey. Is that the mm-hmm. one? Yeah, yeah. That's uh, what's well, right here. Zechariah? That's that's uh, chapter. Wow! Look at you go. Twelve, the triumphal entry in Jesus. They found the young donkey, and he sat on it, just as as it is oh. written. This is verse talking, fifteen of twelve. John, John twelve. Okay, I'm with you. Yeah, John twelve. <laughs> yeah, sorry, no, not Zechariah. I was like, man, you're really good. Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. And then it goes on to say what we were talking about earlier. Verse 16, his disciples did not understand these things at first. But when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written about him and that had been done to him. Mm, That's good. Yeah, and it is Zechariah 9.9, by the way. Okay. uh, The only reason I know that is if you look at John 12 and if your Bible has a cross mm-hmm. reference, it just says that's what the, that verse yeah. we're quoting there is. But um, so, okay, yeah. there's that. And that's going to be a foreshadow of what's to come, of course. But um, well, he's it shows him anointing the feet of the lamb with the oil. David, he's showing his mm-hmm. telling his son that. Oh, that was really cool. That yeah, was he very takes cool. the oil you know, and he's washing you, the feet. You know where that's leading. You know what that's yeah. leading to. And yeah. that was a really cool scene. 
Um, and actually, I think I stepped to the bathroom at that point because I did not see that. But I'm. <laughs> I actually didn't, didn't have to get, get up this once. time. I didn't either. I uh, I oversold the house with some coffee, but uh, <laughs> uh, the next thing I have written down is Pilot and the Spy, or, we, or Pilot and Atticus, I guess. Mm, yeah, they had a conversation. That's when they talk about. He asked him about the ghost. Have you heard about the ghost of Bethany? And Atticus, that's when he really, that's when it kind of sold it a little bit. I've been thinking it for a while that he's going to be the one at the, at the cross, but it sold it a little bit more for me then because he's sitting there and he's like, wait a minute, Atticus, do you, do you believe it? Yeah. And, and then kind of like, mm, well, you know, I've seen of- things, you know, he's talk, he talked about, he said, I've seen mm-hmm. stuff happen that, you know, never yeah. really should have, you know, have no explanation. Cause he was there, wasn't he? He was, I remember they showed a guy kind of off, like watching the, the walk down water. Well, no, when Lazarus came oh. out of the tomb, there was See, a guy. I don't, yeah. that him. I I don't know that who that before. was, but I don't I think, think it was. was okay. Atticus. Cause I think it, he it was, was maybe like one of his spies or something. Maybe one it could have been one of his, been. or it could have been a pharisaical spy. Hmm. They didn't really clarify that, but you can no. see. I was very uh, confused by. Yeah. I, for a minute, yeah. I thought it was Anakin from, uh, <laughs> from Revenge of the Sith, yeah, yeah, or whatever. Sith, uh, uh, the 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 Obi Wan show, you know, where he's like off in the desert, like looking at him. With oh the, yeah, with the hood up, and you're like, yeah. okay, you're like, who is that? I okay, that's Anakin. All right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that's we, we talked about it last time. But Judas, they're really putting that makeup to him, yeah, and making it like he's he's got that Palpatine going on where he's getting the yeah, uh, he's getting really you know. irritated. He's, uh-huh. he's just getting more of that serious uh, sort of. Um, yeah, isn't isn't there a scene where like, okay, remind me if this is in seven or eight, but they get they they well I guess it is seven they they get done walking, James is really hurting, and Judas seems really irritated because nobody, like he's like we could go buy some medicine for him or you know isn't that right or am I, I may be mixing up a scene from another show, but. <laughs> He, I don't remember that. I remember was, his back was spasming, and and they were like at the end. Oh, little James, yeah, little James. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the they're they're outside. Of, yeah, yeah, arguing. They're, that was after. Um, and Thomas throws oh, the pot. Thomas is very upset yep. with everything. They were mm-hmm. arguing. That's right. And then all of a sudden, James kind of grabs his back and sort of is like, mm-hmm. "I'm hurting here," but that was all before the Lazarus thing. I think that was that was after Lazarus was resurrected. Was after. Was it really? Okay. Yes, because mm-hmm. that's kind of what they were arguing about because Thomas was not in a good place. Yeah. Yeah, right, because he's like, why couldn't you have done that? For- and that's Jesus is talking to Lazarus inside, and they hear all the commotion going yeah. on. That's and when they he tells him. him. He's like, there's great. nothing that I can say to him mm-hmm. to now. And he's to- like, yeah, Jesus, you heal your buddy, but you won't take care of my fiance. Mm-hmm. And that's right. I mean, I don't know if he said those words, but that was the – sort of the gist of what he and he even brought up too in the last one or in the episode seven he's like why would you do this for this guy and like and not rama and not your cousin john the baptist you know he, he mentioned right, it right 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 that's yeah and thomas that's just he just dealing with some things <laughs> yeah well we know we know where it's heading for him yeah the but, um, i mean this is the questions we ask you know um in our life it's like why why did this? Tornado... Why the eight-year-old with cancer and not the criminal who's right. never gotten exactly. charged? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Or you know, why was this house hit by a tornado and this one totally spared? And why did this family, you know, this talk this about question. things that three one never... crosses? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we could go that road. <laughs> but yeah, the that's. Things talk we about the know. stuff that we'll never understand, you know. I right, mean, right. Uh, let, let's talk a little bit more about the Roman and King Herod stuff um, mm. before we move on to the anointing and whatnot. Um, very interesting with King Herod coming into Jerusalem and just to see all of the Jewish people coming into Jerusalem. Holy cow, there's a lot of them. That's a very crowded city. Um, it's Passover, and, right? Yeah, yep. Herod, and it, I, I like the whole... With the shot because I, I don't know I'm sure you guys have experienced this um the good times in the church attendance seems to be pretty high um when things maybe aren't going so good when people should be at church their numbers are a little lower 
Um, and that's kind of what they're kind of talking about. They're like, well, you know why everybody's here? Like nobody's that there's not many people using the excuse of my daughter got married or I just bought a new donkey or whatever. Um, <laughs> and they're all showing up and just the kind of oh. political drama of this whole thing. Jacob, you sure you're not a Baptist preacher? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a sermon to me right there. <laughs> <laughs> but the, I haven't thought about it like that, but the, I, I actually like that analogy yeah. because that's, you know, it's what we call the um, uh, EOCO, I think is how they, how a guy that I used to go to church with talked about it. No, EACO. What's that? Easter and Christmas only. Oh, mm, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. to be fair, in the Jewish faith, they did they did have they would go to their local synagogue but to mm -hmm. go to jerusalem this was required for the feasts yes the well, certain they had big three feasts. feasts and so this was the big one i guess the passover the Peshat. passover were, yeah they were there for i guess for the the hanukkah booths, one in the previous episode uh, the lights festival of lights which festival is lights. Hanukkah. feast of booths that was the i'm pretty sure that's the one where he went back to nazareth so yeah. i don't know if that was one they had to go to jerusalem that, the, he went to Nazareth for that one, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, there was, and it, what they what were they saying? Uh, every male of age had to go, and at least like they the, oh, the only the only ones exempt because Gaius is talking to the to Jairus and all the crew. Uh, the only oh. ones exempt were nursing or pregnant nursing sick. women and sick and the elderly. Mm -hmm that couldn't make the journeys. Everybody else is required to go. Yes. Yeah. Um, obviously when we saw in the chosen too, of that's when Jesus and Mary lost, or Joseph and Mary lost Jesus in the temple mm -hmm. as well. Um, right. it was, they traveled there for Passover. Um, so you were wanting to talk about the Roman stuff. No, got, that's okay. That was, that was good. Off there again. Yeah, no, you're good. Um, the uh, I, I find this political intrigue much more interesting, I think, than the Pharisee stuff. Um, maybe because I can wrap my mind around it a bit easier. Yeah, um, I'm very, I'm, I'm kind of not to say I'm the opposite because I'm, I'm intrigued by both of them. But mm -hmm. I, my wife has said the same thing. She's like, I don't like the the stuff with the Pharisees or mm -hmm. whatever. But to me, I'm kind of liking it because it just shows you the links that they're going to over what they perceive as a threat. Mm -hmm. you know and it, it's some of it's a little i guess boring but i mean you bring caiaphas out there and i'm just like and i'm creeped out like this dude right here is like yeah. he's he means business like yeah. <laughs> whole crypt keeper here <laughs> you know nothing yeah. <laughs> isn't you it no better power. for one man to die or yeah it's it? like yeah. you have yeah. no power here gandalf storm <laughs> that's right yeah he's, he's a, they, they made him a little bit uh, oh caiaphas is very that guy playing him yeah we can talk about the i think talking about the pharisee stuff and the roman stuff at the same time makes mm. sense because the pharisees are trying to get the romans to kill jesus yeah so um, and the, well, then the Romans are trying to get things to settle down. Yeah. And well, they, a lot of it's circulating around Jesus. And the Romans had outlawed basically like church justice. They weren't allowed to kill. Mm -hmm. That's um, what, and that's what they could only saying. stone yeah. in the temple. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. We can't do it, but what we've got to do is make it, make them think that it's their idea. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's so slimy. Like, ah, oh. just uh, he's icky, man. He also yeah. got a very interesting comment that Nicodemus is sick. Mm -hmm. I found yeah, that they very keep interesting. Saying that they keep talking, and I don't know if they're just like well, saying earlier that. this season they were saying Nicodemus Nicodemus is off, a what, a way. like away, yeah. and then finally this one we get that he's sick. Don't yeah, know what to make that. Or anything. Maybe we'll oh, get some of it might have been because they couldn't get the actor back. That's what I'm kind of thinking. That's that what I'm thinking. Replaced. That yeah. Hey, we we've got you booked for season uh, five, six, whatever, five, six, six, seven, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, whatever uh, he's, if if I'm not mistaken, it's he and Joseph of Arimathea at yep. the cross. Yeah. Yeah. So, which we he's, believe is Yusuf. Yep. Ah. Uh, 
I think, it's, I think as time goes on, nine, that one. Yeah, I'm 99.9 percent sure locked, yeah. that you guys are. Like, so yeah, you blew my mind with that on the first episode, Earl. <laughs> like, and I've thought about that. Uh, I've been yeah, telling yeah, everybody yeah. since then. I was like, Yusuf, it's like Joseph. <laughs> yeah, how about it? He's got a rich dad, and yeah. Um, do you guys have anything about this political intrigue stuff that's going on that we haven't touched? I, I don't have a whole lot. I know. Of course, there's the party. Uh, there's Joanna stuff is interesting. Joanna's pretty mm-hmm. much done with her husband, I think. So yeah, Joanna. it seems like she is off to. Oh, I, obviously she is. We, we get that at the end. She's she left. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, openly. Yeah, openly. Yeah, openly. Yeah. Cheating on her. I'm like, mm. the, do we? Th- I mean, we think that she's just going to kind of like find the rest of the the, the crew and just kind of hang with them the rest of the time i do she'll, okay. she'll provide some money for them I, you know that's one yeah because i mean she's mentioned her name is mentioned in scripture so she's Chusa, the wife right? of chooser yeah and it's the but it, i don't know it's going to be I'm, interesting to see how they accept her you know they've there was a yeah. scene where she gave them something right or the box the box yeah and they're just like the, oh okay thanks that's like <laughs> i but, think uh but if she leaves brother. does she leave you know does she have the money anymore well yeah, that's Andrew, I think Andrew will be the one to be like, "Yep, come on yep. in." Yeah, because mm-hmm. she's the one. She, uh, she she's took the one with John. John. Yeah, yeah, with John, creepy uh, John. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Peter has kind of taken a back seat a little bit these past since he's gotten his new name. He's kind of been in the background a little bit, and he's, I think it's because yeah. the character doesn't like. I think right now he's brought right the now. character to a place that they want him to be at pre Holy Week, pre betrayal or denial and whatnot. Yeah. Oh, I mean, he's leading still, obviously, yeah. but you know, he, he's still that presence there, but it's, uh, he hadn't even had as much, you know, dialogue or whatever else, but it's, like, it, you know, like when he's we been there to, him, to, yep. to say just a handful of things. He's definitely kind of like even even with some of just the little short snippets of scenes, like he's kind of directing folks, and mm-hmm. you could tell he's already got this idea that like, well, Jesus kind of needs me, you know. Mm-hmm. I need to, I need he he appointed me, and I'm going to be the one, and and then what's going to happen is he's going to have that crash and burn mm-hmm. later when he's like, well, Jesus, I'm not ever going to, you know, and he's going to be like, really, you're not ever going <laughs> to, mm-hmm. oh, you know, yeah, you're going to be oh. sifted, you're going to be sifted. Like wheat, and uh, ooh, that's gonna be that's gonna be ours. Oh that's, man, yeah. They, I mean that the, I, the, that would terrify me. Like Peter, Satan has asked to sift you like wheat, uh, but I'm not gosh. gonna let him. <laughs> In a, I think it's what he tells him. But, but when it's you're like, stored, oh, yeah. man. do we? Okay, some a little more um, Nostradamus. Earl Stradamus. He's not, he's not Pope yet, Jacob. He's not Pope yet. Okay, no, so. do we think that um, the Holy Week season ends at, after Jesus is captured at Gethsemane, or is it further than that? Mm, or do we even oh, make it there? The next season, we, you mean? I think we at least make it there in season five. Okay. I think so right around have, there is the end point. If we, if we get there... I'm going to say that that's where it will end. Maybe even the, maybe not even the advance, maybe just the, like the, the, the arrest, the, the like them going to, and like maybe the, the first part of the confrontation, you know, maybe Jesus and them there and here comes Judas and he looks up and, you know, fade to black or something. And then you start off the next season with that conversation and then him being officially arrested and the ear mm-hmm. cutting off and all that stuff. Speaking of Judas, Hmm. Well, first of all, I guess we have to talk about Mary going to barter uh, or the per- the perfume scene. I was going to save that Ooh. for last because I think that's the okay. biggest part of this whole thing. Oh, okay. Um, so I, 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 oh, yeah. let's talk about okay, cinnamon cake. No. I was going to say Veronica and Jesse, we get the return of two characters that have been healed by Jesus at the beginning. They're preaching oh, Bar- in the and Barnabas. And, yeah. Well, Veronica mm-hmm. and Jesse, the one that touched, that was oh, hemorrhaging and yeah. uh, Simon Z's brother. Right, um, they're testifying. Basically, that was a yeah. season two and a season three. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. And they're sort that of was, it up. was very fun to see them um, again in the Catholic um, tradition. Uh, Veronica is the woman that wipes the face of Jesus during the Passion and mm-hmm. the march okay. to um, Calvary. 
Okay. Um, so I oh, think so they've got her in the position to be the one to do that. So she's the one. Okay, she was the woman with the issue of blood, right? Yeah. So, yes. And so now yep. she's going to be the one. Okay. Yeah. They, they kind of uh, yeah. Talk about makeup, like they had her looking obviously like she had an issue of blood, mm -hmm. and now she looks like she. I, it took me a second. And I was like, "Oh, that's the." Because mm -hmm. <laughs> my first thought just, was, "That's the woman yeah. at the well," but no, I was like, "No, that's the the woman." Just with to the speak a little blood. Latin, we would call that anemic. I'm just kidding. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was wanting to get into uh, the Schmuel stuff. Yeah, Schmuel. Yes, yeah. yeah, uh, get into it. Do it, man. The Oh yeah, Shmuel. Oh man. He's so close. He's so close. And I thought he was headed for a turnaround. Spoiler alert. You know, and then and it seems like he was. But they are kicking him up. He, he they've got him in the shotgun seat to be the one that conspires he's, with Judas. He's very incensed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And over and, over the oh, and that's what Jesus was telling him. Well, over the <laughs> the anointing, he's like, right? well, uh, over the oral law, you have the written law, which is the the five books. That's the Torah and all of that. But then they have the oral law, which is stuff that they have added. It's their traditions. For sure. Well, see, Jesus never broke any. They tell you breaking laws. He never broke any of this. He broke their oral laws. Right. that they made up not right, the god right. not not the right. god given stuff and so that's what he was incensed about literally uh, incensed about the uh, <laughs> but, see what you did there but he uh he was going on about something i think jesus makes that up he uh, um, um, brings that up to him and says you're upset about a tradition I think when she uncovered her hair and wiped it, you know, he's, he's right. just like the more, the further it went, the more he's just, I mean, just infuriated. And yeah, that, that whole, so yeah, like I said, Shmuel and Yusuf were like, okay, let's go, let's go to Bethany and let's, let's talk this, talk to this Jesus guy because we're kind of on his side now. Um, and obviously Mary, uh, buys the very expensive perfume. I thought that was kind of a fun scene. Maybe went a little bit too long. Um, mm. But yeah, yeah. when she comes in and they're going through all of that, I was like, that's the hardest I've cried at the show. Mm. Mm. Wow. My wife, my wife, I said I didn't cry there. My wife yeah. boo-hooed. She was sniffling over next to me. I, yeah. I, I cry. I cry uh, at the parts that you really that nobody else cries at. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's the weird dude. He's like, "Oh, Shmuel." No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> not quite that way. But I, I cried at the Shabbat, the dinner, the episode, very this very second episode, oh, like when wow, they all come in there. So I, I boohoo at that one. Mm. Boohoo, just yeah, ball. Wow. Like you'd think but, it would be right. When, that scene where she comes walking in to wash the feet. I mean, mm -hmm. that's. Powerful and just stuff. the it, it was just the combination of like her actions and like that whoever was playing her did a fantastic job. Yes. And then she didn't even say anything. No. Just yeah. the reaction of everybody I, I else. I was see you are crying. I was angry that there here was a woman uncovering her hair on the screen <laughs> and touching a touching a man. Where is feet. that in the book of Leviticus? <laughs> <girl? laughs> How dare she uncover that head and uh, touch those feet? Uh, I'm just kidding. The dog's a little mad. I hit the Bible. Oh, oh, oh. that dog is a biblical dog. Then he's like, "Do not." She's like, "Don't thump that thing in my face." Our pastor used to do this thing. He'd be like, "I'm telling you," he'd, he'd slap it. <laughs> he'd give the old Bible thump. But yeah, just everybody's react like everybody's reaction to it as well, whether they were like like understanding it or yeah. like Shmuel, like even like the frustration there. This and is, then yeah. Jesus' words were just I mean, Rumi just knocked it out of the park. Yeah. They I even liked talking about the, the perfume part. You you don't and get it in of, well yeah, well you don't get it in 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 the word, and so they they took that creative license and she took the key, which was the money that he had put back, like basically a savings or inheritance or whatever else that he had in the safe. 
And the guy comes when he's dead, gives him the key. Well, she's still got that key. Mm -hmm. And so she gets it. And then she goes in there and gets the money from there Mm -hmm. and then goes. So it's not, I mean, it was a sacrifice, but it was like, she just takes out bag after bag after bag. I want the whole bottle and you just take the year off. I like that line. It's like, here's a year's worth of of wages. (laughs) Take Take the the next, just take the year off. Mm -hmm. And I wondered if it's um, like they were acting like it smelled great, but then when she poured it out, everybody was like, "Oh, like." <laughs> well, maybe it's okay. it was just that it was so smell. strong. It's, Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Every, you yeah. saw everybody kind of go, "Oh, yeah. you know," like, yeah. and then of course Judas's face oh. was like, "Spike." And the one he just taking yeah. Schmill's yeah. side, yeah. that's heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. Um, the line that got me was the whole for you always have the poor with you but you will not always have me by pouring this ointment on my body she has prepared me for burial oh yes 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 yes. and then just everybody's reaction to that and the biggest like the most heartbreaking reaction was his mom's was mary's Mm. like just to hear that that is just like she just kind of closes her eyes her eyes and she's just like wow like it's like getting more real yeah yeah, I think she knows where this is going. Well, obviously she knows, and and he's just to hear that him say that probably was, um, yeah. And but and then they're all still just focused on the you know, you know why wasn't this sold and the money given to the poor and you know. Um, oh, that 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 kind of turned up to eleven there for a second. You know, when Judas mm-hmm. hopped up and he's like, "Well, what would you ever do, Judas?" You know, mm-hmm. and or wh- yeah. however it was, he yeah. said it, and you know, yeah. and he's like, "We could have taken this and given it to the poor," and that's when he's, you know, of course. Mm-hmm. But that's, I mean, that's here. That's John twelve. Mm-hmm. Judas says it. Why was it not given to the poor? And he said he. But it says John puts Leave this note alone. in here. He said this not because he cared about the poor, but yep. because he was a thief and having charge <laughs> of the money bag, he used to help himself yeah. to what was yeah. put into it. You know. Yeah. But it's. That's the, that was kind of the like you're talking about the heartbreaking thing to me is like when he goes outside and Shmuel and him are are, are starting the conspiracy. Yeah, like, and I was, you're because, right. I was hoping Shmuel was going to go there. Yeah, for like, like I wanted so much more. Like then, because I knew like when when you first bring Judas in and he's fired up and everybody's excited to have it. I'm like, when we get there, it's going to be heartbreaking. It's going to be tough. And then you throw in Shmuel and all this, and it, they're so close. And it's like, ah, man, it is going to be tough. I have no doubt these next couple seasons are going to be a, an emotional roller coaster for sure. Yeah. But, I mean. Um, I, God, uh, something about, there was a, well, we can keep talking about that. What you're about to talk about. Well, I feel like did, I was trying to think if we missed something because the, mo- the most of it was them talking with Lazarus and then you bring in Yusuf's dad because he's the one that gets them the audience and they go. Of course, they're at Bethany there. Of course, then Shmuel leaves and it's after that where they they're getting ready to go into Jerusalem. Of course, I think Bethany's only like two miles from Jerusalem. I mm-hmm. think is how that's what they say. Yeah. There's a, there's so, a short conversation. Don't forget. I, I have Joanna and Claudia and, and I don't know if you remember that conversation at night out on the here. balcony. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was just about Jesus and the oh. situation. And that, um, well, that's the, they both, what did she, how did she put it? Um, she, they both were saying they have a really bad feeling about what mm-hmm. is about to take mm-hmm. place because mm-hmm. they obviously know of course joanna she sat there through that whole little dinner you know like behind her wine glass just mm-hmm. like you know in fear because mm-hmm. she hears all the stuff all the plots to excuse me to kill jesus and she's just like you know i mean utterly helpless i guess do we think this is a weird pilot question but you know pilot uh did some really desecrating act where he mixed the blood of a certain so there was some kind of sect that tried to and 
I think it's called the Nicolaitans or something that he mixed. And Jesus says, uh, let me make sure I'm just not making this up. It's well, there's, the is, is this, okay. Uh, I know Pilate. It, it would have been before. The, this is the, not like. The, the historical thing afterward with Pilate is that I can't he remember. Pig, he put a pig in the temple or did well, something. Well, he was removed from power and like, well, was exiled to, yeah. yeah, to couldn't keep it. I mean, and exiled into some nothing town and faded into just. Look, or, uh, Earl, I think what you're looking for may be in Luke. It is probably in okay. Luke. Yeah. Um, and it's something about a tower falling as well. It's somewhere right around that. Oh, is it, right. This wasn't talking about. Is there it, it talking is. about that previous guy that claimed to be the Messiah that uh, they had to like, uprising? No, that would have even been before, right before Jesus was born. <clears throat> because I, I remember in Luke, there's a couple of back to back things where Jesus is kind of referencing like news of the day type of stuff. Um, yeah, so exactly. it, 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 well, Luke is that, that's remember, funny yeah. you say that Luke is one that does that, like he's yeah. got specifics, yeah. like. It was yeah. at this time of this, yeah. whatever, of Caesar Augustus. So you can say, all right, yeah. it happened at this, you know, yeah. Luke was really yeah, good about he that. Said, he said, like, remember when the tower fell on some people? And then he said, remember when they mixed the blood of the sacrifice with something? And I thought it was Pilate that initiated that. But there's, there's apparently some story where, like, a group of zealots tried to uh, do something. And, and, and maybe we could find it on Wiki. If you look up pilot and well, hold on. I'll just do it this way. There we go. Uh, let's see. Sometimes you can search. Remember, let's see. Uh, when pilot mixed the blood, maybe I'm just, uh... okay. Oh, here we go. Who are the Galilee Luke 13, one and five. Okay. Yeah. The tower of Siloam. Um, yeah, there you go. And there's a, I, I just found some that says, who are the Galileans whose blood Pilate mingled with their sacrifices? Which would have been, oh. man, that would have been a big deal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jesus said, do you think that the Galileans were worse sinners? Now, there were some present at the time who told Jesus about the Galileans. So maybe this is to come in the next season because I could, because he seems like he's just gotten into town, uh, which, and so maybe it's going to be something that happens while Jesus is there. They're Galileans, so maybe maybe they think that it is uh, people with Jesus, but it's not. <laughs> they, I don't know. Like I'm just very yeah. curious about that. Um, it's, yeah, it's that's um, Luke 13 or something. Yeah, Luke Luke 13 one. There were some present at that very time who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And he answered them, do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the others because they suffered in this way? No, I tell you, you know, any, yeah, yeah. You know, it was a repenter parish. That was the, yeah. or those 18 on whom the tower in Siloam fell and killed them. Same way. It's like the news of the day kind of thing. Like, yeah. I, yeah. That's, <laughs> uh, that's uh, let's see. But it's, it's interesting well, my, though, because that would be, a, that would be a neat thing to put in this next part with pilot having an overreaction before mm -hmm. Jesus even gets to the thing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this is i uh, I've got a footnote in here in my Bible for that. It's this incident is not mentioned elsewhere in scripture or in any other source from the first century AD. Some really? scholars have suggested it was connected to an incident in which according to Josephus, Pilate massacred a throng of people in Jerusalem for protesting his use of Jerusalem temple funds to build an aqueduct. The incident described here would have been particularly problematic because Pilate did not have authority over Galilee. In any case, enough is known of Pilate to recognize that these actions were consistent with his character. Interesting. Yeah. I, yeah. And the tower in Siloam is near the pool of Siloam in the yeah. Southeast part of Jerusalem. That says, yeah. Yeah. So the other part that we uh, have not talked about is Gaius, Eden, Salome, Jairus, Shula, and Barnaby leaving um, Capernaum. I love Barnaby. Oh, just a nice that's right. Gaius, Gaius is like, make Gaius sure you tell go them with Shalom, him. Shalom. Tell them that twice. Like, <laughs> <laughs> is Gaius going with him or is he just no? He's, he's like, just saying he's goodbye. They, they, they said you should go with us, and he's like, ah. Uh, 
Yeah, I got my uh, I'm still, yeah. Hey, man, I'm still Centurion leader. Yeah. Here. yeah. Just running off. That's right, because he's up in the North Country, and they're about to make the trek. So I do like that they're very respectful of, like, travel distances and those mm-hmm. kinds. So they'll definitely be there for the, for the crucifixion. So. We, we do see them show up, too, at the end of this episode. Um, so... Um, we see them show up when Jesus is out on the road with Matthew and um, who's it? Simon Z. Yes, Z? The, the, to go get the, 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 yep, the donkey. Get the bolt, mm-hmm. Yep. Um, I oh, in what is that in Luke when they talk about? I mean, it's probably in a few, but um, about he sent two disciples out to get the donkey, Colt and uh. Oh, look at that. Hello, Garrison. How are we doing? Um, oh, where'd he go? That's not it. That's Michael. We've already shown Michael. There's Garrison. Hola to you. Um, but I was I was thinking about that, and I was like, huh, I wonder who they're going to have in The Chosen be the two disciples, because it doesn't say. Um, oh, the road to Emmaus, the, you mean? Or well, no, oh, you no, mean the, the two that go. To go get the, the donkey. Yeah. 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 And um, I'm like, oh, that Matthew and Z, that's a... Good pairing. I all that Atticus Matthew, is obviously uh, following yeah. them, um, which uh, is very like, interesting on how all that's going to go down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Atticus is following them, isn't he? Yep. And I like how Matthew's like, but but how are we going to pay for this if we get there? We just tell them that we're going to take <laughs> it for the Lord, and and he's like, uh, yeah, yeah, just take that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like I like how that all goes down. That was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, Eden Salome, Salome, I can't remember how to say um, Zebedee's wife's name. Jairus, Shula, and Barnaby get there as um, they're doing that. And Big James and John are eating the cinnamon cakes, cheating on their mom. That's right. That's right. Um, <laughs> just some of that cute little stuff that they do is kind of what makes the show so endearing. And the fact that they're not going away from it. Um, cause that's very early season of this, like any of the stuff like that, um, kind of helps to keep the show grounded a little bit and to, and, like, it's, and it's a callback from, yeah. you know, cause they yeah. talked about the cinnamon cakes. Yeah. Makes me hungry. Like, yeah. Cinnamon cakes sound delicious right <laughs> yes, now. They do <laughs> like coffee cakes. What I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking too. Um, yeah. <laughs> there's a, there's a Salome. Kind of I'm guessing that uh, I don't, it never mentions that it's the mother of them, but there's a Salome at right before the crucifixion or at right. Yeah. right. It, it, it is. I, I think also In one of the yeah, gospels. She's there. Yeah. That, that is the mom of John and James, James. Okay. And John. So not, not in the chosen. She's an Ethiopian woman. No, I'm just kidding. Oh no, no, no. Salome. <laughs> Salome's the mom. That, that's Zebedee's wife because she goes with Eden and Shula uh, and Barnaby. Oh, what's the name of Tamar? Oh, Tamar. Tamar. I'm sorry. Yep. I'm getting confused to all the people. Okay. Yep. Lots of names of people that don't necessarily have the most talking scenes. Yeah. Hey, you know. Um. <laughs> but I love Barnaby. <laughs> Yeah, Anytime I see that dude pop up on the screen, I just laugh. Oh, yeah. You know it's going to be good. Oh yeah. And remember, and then, Barnaby's a real guy. There was a gospel according to Barnaby. That's uh, well, Barnabas was, is a real yeah, guy. Yeah, of, of Barnabas. Yeah. Oh, um, is he going to be Barnabas? Oh, yes, that, that's who he is. <laughs> see, now my mind is blown. Oh man, yeah. that's great. Yeah. Well, he is that encourager type guy, you know. That's always like sort of there to. Uh, that, that's a great. That's a great perspective. And then, of course, we have the cult brought to Jesus. And the full tie back to the donkey, uh, oh, what the heck do you call it? Not bridle. Um, oh, yeah. And we get some of that oh. too from the Passover stuff at the beginning of this episode. David handing it down to his yeah. son. Yeah. They were um, trying to, yeah. I was like, what? I loved it. I like, Bef- like would a, before, would a bridal last that long? I mean, we're I talking like the ending of this. Four hundred plus years. I'm more than I like the setup. If that makes sense, like they wrapped yeah. it, like tied it together very nicely. They because did. Of a nice they emotional did. moment to bring Joseph back into it, and Jesus is like, "This yes. is a way to have him still with us." Yes. Well, and that's the thing. This was Joseph's bridal, 
but but they they made it seem like this had been it was passed, passed down. from David. Yeah, from I was David. thinking the same Longer thing. Than David, no, it, it is. It, it's from Exodus. Oh my goodness! Well, that's a very that's what a very sturdy, uh, non biodegradable uh, <laughs> leather strap. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of that's. Uh, oh wow! So four hundred years plus about four hundred years to David, right? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Mm, yeah, if it went well, all the way back to quite. Exodus, you're looking at a couple thousand years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but it didn't go to Exodus. I thought it just went to David with his. No, from because when they said when Joseph gave it to Jesus when he was a kid in that flashback, okay. he said, "This is the bridal." Our ancestors used on their way out of Egypt. Oh, wow. To leave slavery. Okay. That's a that's a great and the way I leather. took it is that it was not used after that, and it was just passed down and preserved. Until you know? David pulled it out and put it on his donkey. Right? I don't think David put it on his donkey, he just gave it to his son. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Just like All just right. like Joseph gave it to Jesus, or yep. passed it along, and then and then when they opened the ark, it was just dust. <laughs> <laughs> do not look at it, Marion. The bridle of this donkey in the ark, Doctor. Oh, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you not put it in the ark? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Shut your eyes, Marion. Don't look. That's right. Don't look, Marion. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, we get some. We end with some more emotional, good Mary and Jesus stuff, and Jesus is like, yeah. maybe it's the best thing. Like a a better son would leave you with um, Lazarus mm. behind, mm. so you don't have to see this. And she's like, nope, not happening. Mm. Oh, I see. Yeah, that was hard. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I, 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 do we think? that Mary, I mean, I know the Bible uh, kind of alludes to certain things too, like that she's, even she still didn't fully grasp everything that he was going to have to do. Um, even though she may have just, I mean, she would have believed it. I mean, you know, and, but, and it may have been at this point in time that she's, yeah, I've seen too much. I've come too far to turn back now to ever even have a second thought, you know, but she's, you would, she, I put her more on the plane with Mary Magdalene and uh, Little James. Oh, for and sure. That is that yeah. she. She. I mean, obviously, she's his mother, and she had the Probably angel come to her. You know, a little further than that. Yeah. Um, another good Father Mike thing from the Catechism in a year that I just listened to um, was the fact that Mary isn't so special that just her having Jesus wasn't the big deal. It's her having the faith to go through all of that and mm. the faith in God and the faith in her son is what yeah. makes her so that's unique. A, that's a good, yeah. good word from father Mike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree with that. That, that, mm -hmm. cause I mean, it's in all honesty, it's going to hit her harder says, than anybody else. A sword's going to pierce her soul. Yep. As it said, yeah. uh, back when Simeon or, or yep. Anna, I can't remember. Which oh, one yeah. Said that. Yeah. Uh, something or yeah. Is that how this goes? Something yeah, it, it's uh, the a sword will pierce your heart, I believe, um, or be run through, or something. He will. Like he that. will save the lives of many. But uh, let me go back here. It's like the it's like the old song, Mary. Oh. Did you know? I've seen the, the, the jokes after that. Mary, did you know? Yes, she knew. The angel <laughs> yeah. told her. She knew. <laughs> Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of yes. man Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted in yourself, a sword will pierce so that the thoughts of many hearts will, may be revealed. Wow, that's good. Yeah. But that's hard, yeah. I mean, to get that prophecy so early, and you're probably like, Man, could you have not given me that like a little closer? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I, I got to live with that for the <laughs> thirty plus. No, I'm just kidding. But it's like it. Yeah, that's a heavy uh, thing mm -hmm. to say. Hey, what a beautiful baby! You know, um, he's going to do some yeah, great it, things. But then it was yeah. Simeon. Yeah, mm. Simeon. And I, I wondered too, like if she, if she like fully understood. 
if she didn't think because everybody's not. everybody's yeah. well, I mean, everybody's still tied up with this um the army and he's coming with the sword and you know he's yeah. he's gonna raise yeah. up and overthrow Rome and I'm wondering if she still if wonder because I mean you don't get a lot of it from her, but I'm wondering yeah. if she has any thoughts like that. I don't just I feel like she would head, say them like, if no, she did. Yeah. 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 I feel like she would say them. Because yeah. Mary Magdalene doesn't really have that either, mm. you know, and the other ones, because they're kind of looking at it and they're like, well, if we're going to be getting yeah. an army, like, well, well, wouldn't we already Simon get Lee an army? doesn't think that anymore either, I don't think. Right. I think he's, he's, yeah, yeah, he's getting closer too. Yeah, yeah. I, I've noticed as the, as it's gone along, progressed, mm -hmm. he's starting to, especially these past couple episodes, these last two, he's like. And like, he's had the comment of, I can't remember if it was this season or a previous one, that like, he threw away my dagger. What military leader is going to do uh -huh. that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like this is yeah. Something. He's had a total change of sort of perspective and heart. And yeah. almost we talked about Peter, but kind of being the guy feeling like he needed to step into the gap and help Jesus constantly do these things. Judas is kind of trying to. He, he's, he's almost he, in the same boat. Kind of. He's pushing in there because he's he's like, I see what he's trying to do, and I see what he needs to do, and he just needs to let me help him. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, let me help me to help. Help me you. help you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, we get our hands in the, the plan sometimes like that. And mess it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For ourselves. The plan stays the plan. We just mess our part of it up. The book is closed on my notes. I think I was done. That's pretty much yeah. it. The ride into I the city. It. So, and that's crazy that that's the end of the season. It's like, wow. Yeah. He does. I don't Stephen know why. Curtis Chapman. Saddle up your horses. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob's like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, nope, I don't got it. There's another song to listen to for your uh, pod, for your. Uh, What's that one? The, the Great Adventure or whatever. Yeah, the title of that is? this is yeah. The Great Adventure or something like <laughs> that. It's just kind of life as an adventure, or so get ready yeah. and that kind of thing. It's a it's a pretty good little song. To bring it yeah. back to Johnny Cash, because this just popped in my head. He sings he covers one of my favorite gospel songs. Were you there? Oh wow. Great mm. one. Yeah. That's another one. So that's the first two verses of it are sang at the start of Stations of the Cross, and then the last one is sung at the end, and it's very powerful. Wow. But it's been a long time since I've heard that one, but yeah. yeah. That, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'm going to admit it. I added it to the radio station as well. So it, it's in full rotation. So nice. 103 through the range. Really? They let you add anything you want? Dr. Earl, I am the boss. That oh. Was the range, so, <laughs> yes. I, I let and myself add it. And then if anybody questions, you say, hey, it's Johnny. It's yes. Johnny Cash. And then they say, oh, yeah, he's good. Classic country music has a long tradition of singing gospel songs. And now you can say, well, now we can add the song. Uh, what, was, yes. what was the quote again? No so, earthly good. You're so no heavenly. Good. Yeah. So you're heavenly so heavenly minded, minded you're that no you're no earthly, earthly good. good. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it goes. You can follow it up. You can just do it like a back to back with that one. And sooner or later, God will cut you down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, yeah. that's not classic Johnny Cash, but, yeah. you know. Hello. My name is Johnny Cash. Yep, yep. All right. Well, anybody have any closing thoughts here on The Chosen Season 4 as a whole? What did we think? Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs to the side? I'm, I've got, I got two thumbs up here. Oh, let's bring yep. it up. Yeah, um, uh, definitely. More I'm going to go with one and maybe a half. Okay. I, I mean, I think the last half of it I enjoyed more than the first half. Yeah. Not that I didn't enjoy the first mm -hmm. half, but um, s season three has been a real pinnacle kind of for me. Mm -hmm. And that's with the, yeah, that was walking on the water at the end of that one. But just mm -hmm. the stuff, all that whole season, like the last Even half of the season, like, them, yeah. yeah, the Sermon on the Mount, like, like the last half of season two into through season three. Was really, yeah, yeah, you know, kind of 5, a all that. Yeah, yeah, that was a high point for me. And then, not that this let me down, and maybe it's just because the stuff is, it's getting heavier, you know. Mm -hmm. 
So, yep. but I, I, think, I, I, I have enjoyed it. Uh, I haven't decided if I like the format of watching like I don't. It's not that I don't mind seeing it on the big screen, but just maybe to that's like it. Zoom three episodes at, at a time. Maybe a, yeah, I think that I may think, be it. Yeah, I think I would that prefer it at a little bit slower. I almost wish they just would release it because I think they would get enough viewership. They could have a really successful TV show, just releasing them one at a one every mm-hmm. week, and I think mm-hmm. and then maybe have a double at some point, but. Um, I think it was, it feels like, it feels like I only saw like four episodes or three episodes, but then again, mm. it was like, what, three, three and two. So uh, well, it's harder to recall all of it because you've <laughs> yeah. been hit. it's, it's kind of like trying to remember everything that happened in the Lord of the Rings. Like it's, yeah. it's right. three yeah. hours yeah. worth of right. stuff. I mean, I know the, I know the Bible, so I do know the stories, but it's still right. it was just like, I, I kind of wanted to. I think I, I would have probably did uh, preferred it at a slower pace to digest it. Yeah. Not, I, not that it's not fun seeing it on the big screen. It is. It, it is it, fun too. It but. felt different than watching the previous ones, and that I think I, I I think you hit it on the head there. I think that's what it was. Just consuming it so all in one like three three yeah. big bites, really. You know, because yeah. even these last two episodes were almost three hours long. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I, I'm in agreement. I think they what they should do or should have done, I don't know, is save the big episodes where cinematic type things happen for the theater, like yes. the Walking on Water. They released mm-hmm. that one in the theater. Yeah. Um, yeah. This season, well, very good in my opinion and good story. Nothing like big cinematic like that necessarily happened. So where like it like calls for the big screen necessarily. Um so yeah, I, I'm I'm with you guys. Granted, I think the theatrical release of this is going to lead to higher production and higher, um, Fair. better Fair. quality yeah. going into these last few seasons, which I appreciate. And I think we're going to keep this. I think you'll keep this model. Uh, yeah, I do too. Well, it, I mean, it. Yeah, it made money, and that's essentially. I mean, with them being a basically crowdsourced, mm-hmm. uh, donation funded like type deal. You can tell that it's really progressed from season yes. one to where we're at now. It's, I mean, the acting, the acting has yeah. been good the whole time. But the acting is better. The production is better. The CGI, like that. Yeah. When they showed Jerusalem, the city, I was like, hey, that's what it looks like in the maps in my yeah. Bible. You know, it's <laughs> like they, you know, for sure. And all of that they've done. I assume they've done all of that in West Texas and Utah. And Utah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. A lot of it's yeah. West Texas for sure. Yeah, but. gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I know they've not uh, traveled outside I, the country. So, so this is no, funny. No. Um, speaking, of, somehow I, I know a lot of stuff about this person, Kara Roth. Um, her and her friend are very big fans of this, and they looked into what and how to become extras. And oh, they this need to do it. It's do a lot. So they have to go to Utah for like a few weeks. Oh. And they have to pay for their own hotels, and it's like five hundred dollars each. Mm. And they have to provide their own costumes as well. Wow! And they don't really get to meet anybody; they just get to kind of see them working. And so they're like, "Yeah, if it was like two fifty, they were like, we probably would have done it." But four hundred. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna have big crowds. Four hundred dollars for, uh, yeah. for the crucifixion, or a little, yeah, the, or a little or, bit closer drive, maybe could yeah. be just yeah. justified yeah. there. Well, Utah is pretty close to us. I mean, I feel uh, like yeah. if it was one big scene, like okay, we're just doing the feeding of the five thousand, yeah. maybe mm-hmm. worth it for a short period. But and they said it was twelve hours, hours days. twelve hour days standing. Oof. Oof. And yeah. this is for yeah. something that's coming up. This is for the next season. I'm okay. assuming that's going to be the city when they're like crucify, mm-hmm. crucify, yeah. you know, or some kind of uh, pilot courtroom crowds. Listening. Yeah, uh, my, well, my my co-host Dusty, uh, his brother-in-law, and maybe his niece, they went out to. I think they were filming somewhere around Waco at one point. It's maybe, Texas, they, yeah, yeah, because yeah. they did some in certain in other areas of Texas. They went out there to be extras. I think when they were doing the feeding of the 5,000 maybe or something like that. I don't know if they actually made it out there or not, but they wanted, uh, I think they had to like provide the costume and all that too. If I remember rightly, I'll I'll have to get with dusty on that. 
because he's talked about that. But that was a couple of years ago. Short-lived acting careers. <laughs> I actually got I got some friends that live. I, I haven't brought this up because I hadn't thought about it till now. You've been so close to Utah. I've got some friends that live out there in Lehigh. Okay. Which yeah. is uh, north of Salt Lake City by a little. It's a I guess a suburb of law of uh, Salt Lake City. I've I think not like, been out there. I think I drove through there like four hours ago or four years ago or so. Not four hours. I was in Cheyenne yeah. four hours ago. <laughs> um, yeah, it, Northern Utah is pretty cool. When I was I was headed up to Idaho. Um, all right. Well, who knows when our next episode will be? Who knows where our next episode will be from? But it will be at some point, I believe. Yeah. Um. Either you know, goes in season five or maybe something. In we don't time. know where the wind blows, yeah. just like the spirit. We don't know where the, what about Cabrini? Do we want to do a, I mean, I, I still have an interest to see. Yes, I, I am down. I, mean, I have not seen it yet. I actually, that's a very Catholic, yeah. uh, Catholic yeah. Yeah. story, but I think it it's, looks. Mother Cabrini shrine is just outside of Denver. You might not get that in your neck of the woods, Matt. I don't know. Is it's it, uh, it I saw a poster for it at the Cinemark John, or, yeah, earlier. It's a story in it. about some, uh, I think it's like a nun who helps mm-hmm. save some. Created under- a bunch of or- orphanages in the United yeah. States. Is it during the World War II? Um, 1900s, maybe, turn of the century, I maybe think. Maybe even okay. before that, right? Yeah. Like okay. Maybe early. I think, early no, I'm, I'm getting to, I've seen previews for mm. the one in front of the Chosen that's got something to do with World War II because it's got the SS uniforms yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I'll be honest. I, I don't. Did you guys get the uh, video about or the trailer for the movie with the guy who loses his girlfriend or wife in a car wreck, and then there's an in vitro twin out there? I'm yeah. still happy. I don't probably don't ever have to see that trailer again. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Know. And this is a faith based movie. Yeah. Oh faith no. Based movie. Yeah. yeah. It's um, yeah. Yeah. That's not the one with Alan Rich. Then, is no, it? no. No. That's no. Uh, something else. That's well, the that's, with, the, that's uh, the thing. We don't want to just see any faith-based right. type movie because some of them are not really. They stink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, just, let's just say that. The like theology, they stink. Them, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, sometimes it's just the acting's bad, the theology's bad, the story's bad. bad, everything's bad. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. these are the ones I used to get assigned for Spiritual Earl. <laughs> Michael would be like, here, man, here's one. I'm like, dude, there's so many. No, the come on. Spiritual dude. ended too early because Spiritual I Earl. wasn't able to give recommendations for it. Oh, see, that's the problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Anyway, now I'm into International Earl. Which yep. Is yep. All right, Dr. Earl, speaking of the Deuce cast, where can people find you? Where can people hear your voice? Sure, we are located at any pod catchers or pod. uh, We're on Apple, pod, whatever. Spotify. Spotify. Wherever you like to listen to podcasts. The Deuce cast movie show um, is, it drops every Wednesday. Uh, This upcoming episode, depending on when this is released, it may be behind us, but Mm -hmm. is the... Uh, well, drop today. Today's Wednesday, yes. right? Yes. The not top 10, dot top, the top 5. 11 through 15. Yeah. It's really yeah. 11 through 15 of our top 20 list. Um, and uh, before well we head into our top 10. so The Deucey Noms were also. A, and we released the Deucey Noms, the, the big award show. I don't know, know who now. that guy was announcing those, but sex great on him. <laughs> no, I really thought you and uh, you and Jen had a good snappy patter. I liked it. You should, oh yeah, it was great. You should hire her. You should hire her. You should yeah. <laughs> for your radio station. Yeah, no, it, that was the first time I ever really met Jen. So um, yeah, not, no, not too good. bad. David's a pretty good editor as well, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah, so, um, some good good cover art. Everything just clicks. Mm-hmm. It's just man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the the smaller award shows are out of the way. The yep. Oscars, the Golden Globes. Now we get to the big shows. Like the Got some work to do. Thirteen movies to watch before I. Otherwise, I can be found in the before Discord, which is part of the Discord. Uh, mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I'm I'm not I'm trying to keep Rhett at bay from attacking people. No, I'm <laughs> Matt, what about yourself? Where can we hear your voice? Other places, um, or follow you. 
and follow you. Well, I'm, well, I'm on social medias. If you want to check those out, I've got the letterbox. I've got all that. I've, I've mink underscore Matt or Matt underscore mink, whatever they are. Uh, just search the name. You can find me. But the podcast soundtrack of life I do with uh, my buddies, Dusty and Sean and Spencer, whenever he decides to show up and uh, you can catch that about anywhere. That's the soundtrack of life. A music I- podcast. I enjoyed hearing you on Alyssa's podcast. That was, was awesome. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, that. Yep. yeah I, I did that. Uh, I think that dropped yep. last week. Uh, we're actually going to put that episode out on our feed as well. Oh, you should. So, you yeah, know. that's I, I'm, that'll be the next one out on ours. But uh, we're recording tomorrow night, Manchild Movie Night, for oh. Dazed, and, Dazed and Confused. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> 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 and everybody- we have a... We have a, um, yeah. a a soundtrack episode about the music from Days and Confused, so we're going to try oh, to release those right. together. Yeah. So nice! Gosh, I need to rewatch. I've that got movie. the Criterion of that. Nice. That mm-hmm. cover was pretty slick. I yeah, saw that one. It is. Yeah. yeah, I actually haven't watched the Criterion like disc of it. I've just seen it on streaming, but love that movie. Yeah. That's a good, um, that's a good film. Where yeah. Can we find you, Jacob. Yeah. Yes. Um. I, I will say, check out the Food for Thought cast. Melissa Reagan. She's awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. Great podcast. She's so good at supporting all of us. I feel like I'm so bad at like. She is great. She supporting is great. her. So I'm trying to be better about that because she always she listens to all of our shows, and I'm like, mm-hmm. mine's not that good. Oh my! Like, ours doing? is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> she like listens intently. If you want to listen to a show that's not that good, you can listen to our latest uh, episode of the Good Day for Movie podcast. We reviewed Dune Part Two. We did not go the full three hours like we uh, like we did yeah. for the first one, but uh, I think we still had a pretty good conversation. Talked a lot about the book, Doctor Earl. I think you'll enjoy it um, because we talked a lot about kind of the book differences and whatnot. Are and, Tate and uh, Sage Dune heads? Big time, yeah. Sage, oh. Sage really got us both to read it, read the book. So, all oh, three wow. of us consumed okay. consumed the book, and uh, okay, yeah, it's a it's a positive review overall for the movie. Spoiler alert! I will, I will need to lift, listen. I will need yep, to listen. yep. Um, this coming week, though, we do not have an episode of the Good Day for a Movie podcast coming out on the podcast feed. Instead, we have episode two of a Catholic and two Protestants go to the movies releasing Boom. Monday morning at 6 a.m. So if you're watching this live, that's what you're going to get on the Good Day for Movie podcast. So if you didn't catch it in YouTube form, or if you want to catch it now, um, Match that bell. Subscribe. Your faces, oh, wow. um, subscribe to this channel. Um, <laughs> these videos are doing awesome. Very happy about that. Thank you guys so much for um, watching them. Thank yes. you guys for um, hopefully enjoying what we're saying. Maybe learning something. Maybe you can teach us something. Hop in the live chat. Make sure you do that. Like the yeah. video. Um, share the video. That's how people, other people can see it. If you're a believer like we are, I think the show does a very good job of bringing people closer to Christ and closer to God. Um, and maybe even bring some people to them. Um, so then that is yes. kind of our whole goal in the world is to bring as many people we, we can. Um, Jacob, that's the Lord. Good so, to know um, him and make him known. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yep. So thank you guys so much for watching Dr. Earl. Matt, thank you guys for joining me in this venture. Um, our chosen season four coverage is complete. Good work, fellas. Um, we did oh, it. Oh, yeah. 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 Good job. Who knows what's next? Follow us on socials. Good day for movie podcast. The Deuce cast. The, those are your avenues that you'll find the announcement yeah. soundtrack for life. Um, well, well, yeah, we will. We will return. Yep. Yep. We will continue. I'm going to steal it from Father Mike again because I haven't came up with anything better. Um, we will continue to pray for you. Continue to pray for us. Thank you for listening Amen. to a Catholic Amen. and two Protestants. Go to the movies. And thank you, everybody, for joining. Kara Roth, Earl, Garrison, Michael, Brian was in there. Um, Rhett. Rhett. Rhett was, was in, in there, there for a short second. period while his concert was going on. And thank you, everybody, that watches in the future.